Good day everyone! Welcome to our math class. For today's video, we will learn about simplifying fractions. Simplifying or reducing fractions means to make the fraction as simple as possible. Why say 4 eighths when we really mean half? Look at this illustration. We have 4 eighths simplified to 2 fourths and 2 fourths simplified to 1 half. So how do I simplify a fraction? There are two ways to simplify a fraction. One, or method one, try to exactly divide both the numerator and denominator of the fraction by 2, 3, 5, 7, and etc. until we can't go any further. Example, simplify the fraction 24 over 108. So, this can be divided or divisible by 2. So, we will both divide the numerator and denominator by 2. The answer is 12 over 54. 12 over 54 is still divisible by 2. So we will divide both the numerator and denominator. That will give us an answer of 6 27. 6 27 is still divisible by 3. So we will divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 27 divided by 3 is 9. So the answer is 2 ninths. That is as far as we can go. The fraction simplifies to 2 ninths. Method 2. Divide both the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the greatest common factor. When we say greatest common factor, we have to work it out first. What is greatest common factor or GCF? The highest number that divides exactly into two or more numbers. It is the greatest thing for simplifying fractions. What is greatest common factor or GCF? Let's start with an example. Greatest common factor of 12 and 16. So we will look for that. First, we will list all the factors of 12 which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Next are the factors of 16 which are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Let's find all the factors of each number. We have to circle the common factors. You have your 1, 2, and 4. So 1, 2, 4 are the common factors. Next step, choose the greatest of those. So which is the greatest? 4 is the greatest common factor. Example, simplify the fraction 8 twelfths. The largest number that goes exactly into both 8 and 12 is 4. So, the greatest common factor is 4. Divide both numerator and denominator by 4. So, we have 8 twelfths divided by 
four fourths or eight divided by four equals two and four divided by I mean twelve divided by four equals three. The answer is two thirds. That is as far as we can go. The fraction simplifies to two thirds. Now, for your activity, do this. Directions. Simplify the following fractions. 28 over 63. 21 over 35. 16 over 72. You may apply the method 1 or method 2 in finding the simplest form of these fractions. That's all for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you for watching.